It's very important to um, not to forget that patients, especially after allogeneic stem cell transplantation, are losing their specific immunity. So they are very much prone to infections. And therefore, we have to repeat a lot of the vaccinations that have been done when these patients were young and to, to kind of boost their immune responses, but maybe also to induce new, new immune responses because the transplanted immune system in the new body has to learn, first of all, what, what it has to do. And therefore, the vaccination tr kind of teaches the new immune system to do what it is expected to do to fight infections. We know that the specific immune responses are being lost during the first six to 12 months. And then depending on the immune function that is already active in the patient, you have to start with the vaccination. We, we often did it quite late, but we are increasingly moving the vaccination to an earlier time point post-transplant.